The sewage water way down to the wastewater treatment plant is very important. And we're gonna have a look at how that is done and what you need to think about. Before we look at how the sewage water is transported down to the wastewater treatment plant, we need to consider what is sewage water. Well, it can be the domestic wastewater, that is the sewage water that is generated in the bathroom, toilets, showers and in kitchens. Then you also have water when it's raining or when snow is melting and that water is called runoff water. Now keeping this in mind, you have two different types of piping systems that can transport these waters down to the wastewater treatment plant. And let's have a look at that now. You have what we call a combined system. That is when the domestic wastewater and the runoff water is collected in the same piping system which ends up in the wastewater treatment plant. That is a combined system. Then we have something called a separate system. That is two separate piping systems, one for domestic wastewater or domestic household water and one separate piping system for the runoff water. Now this is important because the runoff water in a separated system will go away from the wastewater treatment plant out back into the sea, the lakes or the creeks. So the runoff water will not be guided down towards the wastewater treatment plant. So this means that a separated system will put a lot less hydraulic load on the wastewater treatment plant as compared, compared to a combined system. With that said, let's have a look at polluting of the sewage water or domestic household water or the runoff water in the next slide. We are looking at using treated sewage water as a raw water for drinking water production. So in regard to piping network, a separate piping system is of course preferable because it will mean less pollutant, less hydraulic load to the wastewater treatment plants. So it's better for operations. With that said, in regard to the last slide we looked at, let's have a look at the polluting of domestic wastewater or sewage water. We have, first of all, industry. If that is connected to the piping network, I would say in most cases industry needs their own sewage treatment or own process water treatment. And that's very important to cut down on their pollutant load. We talked about storm water or runoff water, rainwater. This, of course, it's important if that's possible to separate in a separate piping system compared to getting it all to the wastewater treatment plant. Because in the stormwater you have high particulate material, which in that particulate material you have metals and also a small portion of dissolved metals and other pollutants in the runoff water. Then we come to the hospitals, which we today have lots of discussions about medicine and all of that. So hospitals should look at their own treatment for reducing the amount of, of medicine that comes out. And then we get back to our homes. And one of the things we always have to think about is only toilet paper, urine and fecals in the toilet. No colors, no plastic, no tops, etc. etc. because that will severely damage the wastewater quality before it comes to the wastewater treatment plant. And especially now when we are looking at using the treated sewage water as a raw water for drinking water production, we want to keep the pollutants as low as possible before the wastewater treatment plants, of course. Then we have, for instance, car washes on local drives. Today, most petrol stations will have a washing system, but that water is recycled and also treated before uh, pumped to the, the, either the uh, separate system or a combined system. Combined piping network, separate piping network, different pollutant sources, hospitals or toilets, car washes, etc. 
it's a complex picture of the wastewater coming into the wastewater treatment plant. And it's very important that we control this. One tool we have here in Sweden is REVAC. And REVAC is focused on getting a control system so that the sludge that we produce in the wastewater treatment plant can be allowed to be used as fertilizer on the farming land. So this is one tool for upstream work. And I've just put a picture here on a video I made on the REVAC system where I go in a little bit more detail. And you, if you want, you can have a look at that on the YouTube channel. Now we've looked at the water coming in and what we need to control. For the next mini lecture video, we're gonna look at online measurement in the wastewater treatment plant in order to secure the quality of the treated wastewater.